Thank you very much. I just want to say a few words. I'm sorry I will do it in English, and my friend Tony will also help in Czech. We are here today to show solidarity with Catalonia after what has happened in the last days. Catalonia, as many others, is an old nation of Europe with a history of over a thousand years. During this time, of course, we have been in many different situations, being as a full-blown state, being in, uh, together with Spain, sharing many things with them, sharing the same king. We have survived a dictatorship, and during all this time, Catalonia has survived always as a cultural nation, at least. In recent years, there has been a debate, which is, as every debate, disputable, there are different points of views, and they should all be respectable. In this case, it was about the status that Catalonia should have in the next years. Should it continue to be an autonomous community in Spain? Should it become an independent state? Poslední době zač začala debata o tom, jestli Katalánsko musí zůstat e, španělským státem nebo musí se stát nezávislým státem. In such debate, of course, different points of view were respectable. We wanted to have it in peace, and we wanted to have the right to vote about it and freely decide. Všichni stanoviska jsou respektabilní, ale my jsme to chtěli řešit demokratickým demokratickým způsobem, preferenci. The problem is that this has not been possible because we have found in front of us a state that didn't even want to allow the debate itself, a state that denied even the right to vote for that. Problém, že jsme se našli s naproti stát, který vůbec odmítne o tom ani začát o tom mluvit, vůbec odmítne debata jako taková. After trying by all means to have such referendum, to have it legal, to have it in accordance, in agreement with the Spanish government, and after receiving always the same invariable answer, no, no, you cannot speak about that. The Catalan government went ahead and decided to organize it anyway. The Catalan parties and the Catalan government who were for the referendum as the only reasonable, peaceful, democratic solution to a long-standing debate never expected, not even in their most terrible fear, that the result would be what we saw last Sunday. The strany z Katalánska, co chtěli referendum, nikdy vůbec neočekávali, že to, co se stalo v nejeli, by se mohlo stát. What we saw was a people just organizing themselves to have a vote with the usual guarantees for neutrality, for respect, for all the options. And what they found in front of themselves was unexpectedly an authoritarian state who repressed it by violent means. The Spanish police was sent by the Spanish government to Catalonia to go and try what they could to stop people from voting. And they did manage it in several places. They stormed in the polling stations, they beat the people of all ages who were there just to vote normally. Španělská policie dokázala zavřít několik volební eh, místnosti a mlatili naprosto úplně všichni lidi bez ohledu na věk. A... After this, 
people continued to vote in the same places that were reopened and in many other places in the whole of Catalonia. There was a huge turnout for the voting that took place in such difficult conditions. We are here today not to discuss about the issue of independence, yes or no, which is an interesting debate. We are here now to discuss, to, to, to protest for something which is much more elementary than that. It's not anymore about the status of Catalonia as a state or not. It's not even about the right to self-determination. Now it's about human rights. Now the problem is whether we can live in peace and have our basic rights that we always thought that were guaranteed by the Constitution and behind that by the European Union. We are here to say that we can speak about everything, but we should be able to do it in peace. We should be able to resolve all issues by discussing and by voting. Um, when it comes to basic rights, it's the same in all countries. It happened in Catalonia, it could happen anywhere tomorrow. That's why that's a global fight. That's why we cannot but be extremely grateful to all of you from Spain, from Catalonia, from the Czech Republic, from anywhere who are here with us today. Thank you very much.